when it was told Saul, he sent all the messengers. And they prophesied likewise. And Saul sent messengers again the third time, and they prophesied also. Then he also went to Ramah and came to a great well that is in Seku. And he asked and said, Where are Samuel and David? And one said, Behold, they are at Nayot in Ramah. And he went thither to Nayot in Ramah. And the Spirit of God was upon him also. And he went on and prophesied until he came to Nayot in Ramah. And he stripped off his clothes also and prophesied before Samuel in like manner and lay naked all day and all night. Wherefore they said, he saw among the prophets. He prophesied naked. The power was so intense. We, he, he was coming, coming close to somewhere. He still heard as he was prophesying, he had an intention. But when he came too close, he had to become naked. The dose that was coming out of somewhere was too intense that when he when he caught it, he prophesied naked morning and he. There is a drink that is drink indeed. A wine that never came out of the fiber of plants. Wherein holy men dr drank and became drunk. And they speak with the mouth of God. He prophesied naked. <laughs> Morning and evening. of his utterances were such that people wondered he saw among the prophets. They had to trace his genealogy and they discovered that no prophet came from his family. How come he utters words with so much precision? It was not about Saul, it was about the environment. There was a prophet called Samuel. He carried so much of God that his city came under the influence of his anointing. say Lord I want to drink that drink that is drink indeed he prophesied naked Michael you know he was coming with armor so he had to remove iron armor armor you cannot remove your armor without taking note he prophesied naked morning and evening I remember some years ago we went for a meeting in Zaria and this thing happened and some people me I don't know it was word of knowledge till evening I was seeing visions and speaking and somebody misplaced his key through word of knowledge it was traced by word of knowledge he prophesied naked morning and evening wherefore it was said he saw among the prophets no wonder it was it was written concerning zion that upon mount zion when you come to zion there is an anointing that is resident it occasions your deliverance so much so that if your possessions have been taken by the enemy it was on zion that you possess it it's just like a thief goes out to steal and then because he stole the anointing of Zion makes him to bring everything he stole and kept on the mountain. So when you come to Zion, you possess back. Those were anointings. <laughs> there were anointings, anointings that were held up in territories, in regions. But in the day of somewhere, the borders of Israel were kept by power. There was no need to say, we are raising an army to defend his anointing kept the nation it was because of this discipleship that david received that he also prophesied because he was with samuel in ramah 
he used to go there once and again he was not only the sweet psalmist of israel but he spoke about the visions that he captured of heaven it was the anointing of Samuel that was operating in the life of david if saul had continued he would have also developed that prophetic dimension we are talking about a contagious spirit something that can haunt you in your sleep it can it can haunt you in the boss it can it can provoke something on the inside